Okay, so my name is Alana Chapman and this is my level three submission of my ET4 task. Um, and this is the QR code activity. So basically what I believe QR codes are, um, they're sort of matrix barcodes and they're two dimensional and they're machine readable labels attached to items that can either link you to a website, a YouTube clip, it can send you a text or um, it can even produce documents as well, which I find is really interesting. Um, at the moment there's lots of sort of uses for QR codes in the classroom. Some of those uses include scavenger hunts around the school. Um, teachers can share contact information between students and parents um, using the scanning codes and notes, hints and tips on assignments can also be scanned for students to benefit from in the classroom. Uh, but one of the most innovative um, uses of QR codes that I sort of was reading about was uh, the, the idea of having a digital portfolio for students. So instead of sending home a you know an old school report with the manila folder and the cardboard, um, what parents would receive is a QR code and in that QR code could be all sorts of samples of um, digital samples of students work. So that could be YouTube videos, that could be electronic documents, that could be blogs, that could be anything that um that we can put into those QR codes. And that would mean that the students can easily access them as well. Um, one of the other great innovate, innovations that I saw was um, from General Electric. And what they did was produce a series of um, learning experiences about solar and wind. And so with that instance, you'd print off the QR code and you'd, you'd use that and scan it up to the webcam. And what would happen is a 3D sort of model or diagram of how solar and wind operations work where's my laptop, there it is, um, would, would appear with this QR code. And I found that really, really amazing because you could use that in all sorts of contexts. Um, you could use it in, in geography. You could look at different landmarks around the world like the, like the Eiffel Tower or the Leaning Tower of Pisa, Sydney Harbour Bridge, you name it. Anything can be attached um, to those QR codes and really enhance student learning. Um, which brings me to my innovation, what I would do with these QR codes in my classroom. Um, the key learning area that I decided to focus on was English, um, specifically Shakespearean language, which, which is part of the curriculum anywhere between grades 8 and 12. So with this QR site, what I've decided to do is to create a QR code at the bottom of any Shakespearean page of a text. And so what students can do is scan it and be connected with an actual Shakespearean to modern English dictionary. So what we've got over here is the data type. There's all the different data that can go into QR codes. You can have your website URLs, your YouTube videos, um, you, can do, you can link it to Facebook and Twitter, um, SMS messages, you name it. So we're going to your, your website URL. Then I need my URL in here, so what I'm going to go is over to my Shakespearean translator site and there's all our translations. So I will copy that, pop it in the URL section um, and then you can pick your foreground colour. I might choose pink, I love pink. So I'll download that QR code and it just pops up in my downloads and it's come over here up in preview. Then what I can do is take my smartphone, I've actually got my iPad here, which I'll pull the camera out so we can see. So I've got my iPad, I'll just swipe it open, do my code, and um, we will have the scanner here. Okay, so what I've got here, that's my QR code. Uh, I've got this scanner here, you can see it's got the red light in the middle and I'm just going to hold it up to, to my QR code I'll wait for it to scan you can see it's loading oh, and on my iPad over here you can see I've got my Shakespearean um, definitions and that QR code over here on my laptop that could be printed for all different kinds of students to pop anywhere. Um, and another innovation for these QR codes as well, if we were to attach a, a website or something, you could print them off and attach them with a voice recording. Um, so somewhere where I might use that would be a homework diary. I might make a weekly recording of students' homework, print them off a QR code, and that saves them having to write it down or remember it that way, and students really wouldn't have an excuse not to do their homework. So. 
first sort of some of the innovative uses I would ways I would use QR codes in my classroom. Um, but I think at the end of the day, with QR codes, it's not actually the technology itself that's revolutionary. It's the way that teachers sort of adapt it and use it into their classrooms that really matters. Um, and that's what actually makes the technology such a phenomenon in the 21st century. Thank you for watching. Oh.